Good afternoon. I'm Pamela Johnson. Today is June 16th, 1966, and here are some of today's top news. The riot in Watts, Los Angeles, California, started by African American men, leaves two dead, at least 25 injured. Inflation continues to rise due to the effects of funding the Vietnam War. Anti Vietnam War protests continue to spring up around the globe with more than 200,000 participants. In recent news, in our top story today, the Miranda versus Arizona case. Ernesto Miranda was accused of rape, kidnapping, and robbery in 1963. The trial began back in March 1963. We have History Channel reporter Rebecca Wilson with an exclusive interview with the man behind it all. Many of you have heard the phrase, the Miranda rights, but do you know what they really mean? Today, they will be revealed. Rebecca? Thank you, Pamela. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights as they have been read to you? These are the Miranda rights, read to a criminal as they are taken into custody by the police. They are to be read by every person who is taken into custody, but not all these rights were read to the man sitting with me here today, Ernesto Miranda. After the break, Ernesto will share a bit of his story with you. We'll be right back. All right, Chief, open up. Look, Daddy loves Frosted Flakes. Mmm. You ready? Mmm. 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 All done here? Good boy. I think he wants seconds. They're great. Frosted Flakes are fortified with eight essential vitamins you need to start your day off right. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are sure to be a favorite of everybody in your household. Good evening. We're back here with our exclusive History Channel interview with Ernesto Miranda and his attorney, John Flynn. I'd like to start off by asking you a few questions, Ernesto. Where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in various areas in Arizona. Did you always get in trouble as a kid? Yeah, I guess so. It began back in grade school. Can you tell me about your home life as a child? Well, um, well, my mother died when I was six years old, and a little bit after that, my father remarried. I hated my stepmother. I was never on good terms with my father, my stepmother, and my stepbrothers. I ended up dropping out of school in eighth grade. And why did you drop out at such a young age? I committed my first crime. I think it was burglary. Ernesto, would you mind telling me a bit of what happened at the time you were taken into custody? Yeah, um... I was in my home in Phoenix, and the police came to my house. They took me down to the station. They interrogated me and put me in a lineup with three other guys. I knew I, they were, I was the one they were looking for, so I confessed, and I ended up going to prison for that. Just like that. And, Mr. Flynn, how did you and Ernesto Miranda meet? Ernesto Miranda was not informed of his fifth and sixth constitutional rights. His confession caught the attention of the American Civil Liberties Union which he had believed that the poor and uneducated were not fully being to hold their rights. This is when I was assigned to him. I was part of the petition to the Supreme Court. The court accepted, and the case was labeled Miranda vs. Arizona. You said the fifth and sixth constitutional rights, am I correct? Yes, that is correct. Just to clarify, the Fifth Amendment states that he or she has the right to avoid self-incrimination by not answering questions. The Sixth Amendment states that he or she has the right to have an attorney present during an interrogation. Yes, that is accurate. On the 13th of June, the Supreme Court gave him a 5-4 to four majority, which reversed his conviction of rape. The conviction was dropped, but he still had to remain in prison due to the other charges, you see. My name became almost famous, I guess. <laughs> Miranda doesn't confess, they said. <laughs> Mr. Flynn, after the first trial, Ernesto was retried? Yes. And how did that turn out? At the second trial, his confession was not introduced. He was still convicted. And the sentence was? 20 to 30 years. And Ernesto, are you currently in the process of serving that sentence? Yep. Well, that's all the time we have here today. Mr. Miranda, Mr. Flynn, thank you for being with us here today at History Channel this evening and for helping us to bring this new story public. Back to you, Pamela. Thank you, Rebecca, for bringing us that story of the Miranda versus Arizona case.
That's all we have here for tonight. Join us back here tomorrow for more History Channel exclusive interviews, news, and more. Thank you. I'm bored. Me too. Me three. Hey, I just got this new game. Guess what it is? What, what is, is it? it? It's Twister! Yay! Yay! Oh, Monday morning, Monday morning, good to go. Ow! I think I broke my cord. Yay! Yay! Well, we should probably be careful so that no one gets hurt. <laughs> Find Twister in your nearest toy store today!